everyone, it's Dr. Janine here today to talk about a very important topic, and that is recovery. So why is recovery so important? Well, first off, recovery is often something that is overlooked when it comes to athletic endeavors. And I'll tell you why. It's human nature and a psychological phenomenon that we focus on things that show results. And recovery is something that happens in the back end that we're not really seeing the results from. It's the aftermath of our physical endeavors and how we treat our body and help it to perform better. So unfortunately, it kind of takes the back seat when in fact recovery is just as important, if not more important than what we are accomplishing in the gym during our workout routine. So today I wanted to highlight recovery and I wanted to discuss with you some non-traditional ways in which we can recover. So these are things that many of you may or may not have tried. Some of you have maybe heard about them and they've piqued your curiosity, but I'm here today to share my experiences with these alternative ways of recovery that have gained popularity because they are proven to be effective. So don't go away, I want you to watch this and I wanna hear who of you have participated in any of these activities? And if you haven't, I would like to know if you're interested in, because I guarantee you they will be very helpful in your recovery. So in front of me, I have the Kenyon Move Plus Pro, which is a red light and laser therapy device with over 10,000 hours of research and development. Guys, this is huge in recovery and it works like none other. I'm going to go into more detail, but let me start off by saying Kenyon's mission is to increase the quality of life of the largest number of people in the most sustainable and measurable way. And I just love that about their mission because isn't it all of our goals to feel healthy in a way that we can manage, that we can be consistent about, and that makes us feel good and able to enjoy all of those life activities that we want to do, whether it's playing tennis, playing golf, or even playing with our grandchildren. Being physically fit is something that we should all aspire to be, no matter what age we are, and we can't feel good unless we treat our muscles with kindness and TLC. So let me tell you a little bit more about this, how I've been using it and how beneficial it's been. So this is what the Kenyon Move Plus Pro looks like after it's been charged. And there are three devices that you can remove out of the battery pack and they can be turned on individually. So not only can you use these individually to treat targeted areas, but you can also use this belt, which you can snap the devices into, and you can treat problem areas. I will show you how I've been using this on my neck, which I had sustained a whiplash accident many years ago, and I'm pretty much better now, but it does act up from time to time. So I've been using this proactively and I really love it. I've also been using the Move Plus Pro on my, my knee because I had some recent injury at the gym and I've been taking care of that because I'm trying to avoid surgery. So the beauty of the Move Plus Pro is that it is using both LED and lasers. And what that does is it penetrates into the deepest layer of your skin, of your muscle, and it penetrates and it really starts to have that whole cellular regeneration. So some of you may know a little bit about red light therapy and you know that it can be used very superficially and it's wonderful for things like treating fine lines and wrinkles on your face or acne, but the Kenyon Move Plus Pro is going to get into the deeper layers where you need it most to really make significant differences. So how does the Move Plus work? 
During a Move Plus session, the application of specific wavelengths of light triggers a cascade of cellular signaling processes. This results in increased blood flow, reduced oxidative stress and inflammation, and suppressed pain. These benefits have been validated by hundreds of clinical studies. Unlike red light therapy panels, the Move Plus uses targeted light characteristics to penetrate deeper into the joint with consistent dosing for more effective results. With over 6,000 medical papers on light therapy, there are proven benefits for osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, pain and inflammation, cartilage damage, wound healing, acute injuries, tendinitis, and so much more. So that's pretty cool stuff. Now you only need to use this about 10 to 15 minutes per day on the problem area, and it is highly recommended that you're consistent. If you are consistent, you should start to notice results at about two weeks. So again, super easy. It has a little carrying case, so we can make it portable and we can take it with us. So there's no excuses, guys. I would encourage you to look at the website. You can see all of the many positive reviews. So I hope that this is something that you found helpful. I know I've been enjoying it. I will go ahead and put a link in my description for you and you can click on the link and you can take a look at more of the information. But also if you have any questions, just let me know. So my next recovery tip has actually been around for decades, but it's taken a new spin. So any of you have heard of the Polar Bears Club? And that is basically a group of people who go into the freezing ocean water and they do it once a year. And I joke about that because it's kind of funny if you've seen it on social media, but it really stemmed from the whole concept around cryotherapy, which is gaining popularity nowadays. So cryotherapy can be performed for a number of different reasons. It can be help, used to help with pain relief, inflammation, even weight loss, skin conditions. And basically the premise is that we are getting our body to a temperature that is safe enough, but cold enough where it's going to start to create increased blood flow. And when that occurs, your body will start to rush blood to the area to heal and to help it to recover. So right now there has been a pop-up of cryotherapy places. You can get cryotherapy facials. You can go into a machine where you're safely monitored and they will bring your body to a temperature that will help in the recovery process. So I have yet to try the machine, but I have tried specific cryotherapy uh, on designated areas and I have found it to be very helpful. I would suggest looking into it if you haven't. I would obviously suggest going to some place that is very proficient and experienced doing this because it's not for everybody and you do need to be monitored. But again, cryotherapy gaining popularity and a wonderful way for recovery, especially for those who are hitting it hard when it comes to exercise. My last tip, which I have personally been doing and have been a huge fan of, is IV drips. So again, I go to a place that's local and I have an IV drip that includes not only saline, but they're able to use different supplements, different nutrients. So for example, yesterday I had a very bad migraine and I, I'm unable to take anything that will help it. I, I've tried different over-the-counter products, nothing helps my migraine. So I went for my IV drip, they did a combination of magnesium and some other supplements and I was very calm and my migraine went away. I feel that my body needed to be hydrated. So again, these are all places that are under medical supervision, but they can really be helpful in your recovery. Things that you may not have thought of before, but I would definitely check them out if you're all about health and well-being. I hope that you found this video super informative and I would love to hear in the comments if you have any other suggestions for recovery and they don't have to be anything groundbreaking. They can be proven, tested methods that you've been using or know people that have used, but it's always wonderful to share. We're a community and it's great to learn from one another. So please, again, share this video if you know someone that could benefit from these tips. Don't forget to like the video and I'd love to hear of any other topics you would like me to 
talk about and speak about, and I would be happy to create some content around that for you. I hope you all have a wonderful day and you feel great.